Hey guys, what's going on? Third Street Reactions here. We're back with Shane. Tom. We're back with Ninja Turtles, season four, episode 20. Tom, last episode we had the Bat and the Belfry. We had comic book characters. I kind of borrowed elements from DC Comics, uh, from even from Spider-Man with Marvel. It was a pretty good episode. It wasn't my favorite, but it was cool. Um, I like the comic book stuff. I like the way they animated like the punch and the bam and the boom yeah kind of an old school comic but... like 1960 batman kind of cheesy and there's something i told you that i, I kind of liked it i kind of like that's campy cheesy good natured stories yeah and the bigger issue at hand right now is the fact that april's got something going on with her with that crystal it's got some sort of control over her. it's making her very angry it's yep. giving her headaches mm-hmm uh, and she can't seem to break the hold on it. And even Splinter was like, "Hey, you need to, you need to cool it with the crystal." So absolutely, I think that's going to be an ongoing issue until it's dealt with. I think so too. I don't know if we'll address it immediately in this episode. I mean, they, they kind of planted the seeds for it when we right. got a, we got at that one planet with like that was corrupted, and now she has it. And then it, it kind of did like just like the, the the episode ended like I'm never taking it off, and it freezes, and it does like the comic book sepia kind of look. They had to just listen to Mikey again. Yeah, they should have listened to Mikey again. He was right once again. Leo's my favorite Ninja Turtle historically. But in this version of the show, he hasn't consistently been my favorite. He's kind of been my favorite by default. An honest examination of the show, I, I would almost say Mikey. Donnie's actually more compelling than he normally is. Like, Donnie was my least favorite turtle. And in this version, he's actually much cooler. Yeah. So it's just, um, I welcome all, welcome all of it. Man, like, so we got a couple episodes left of this season, then we're on the last season. And then we're going to be voting on a new Ninja Turtle show. And I think one thing we're also going to do is you haven't read any of the comics at all. Or I don't know if you ever read a comic book in your life. <laughs> but <laughs> I have Ninja Turtles Volume 1, 2, and 3. I've tried reading one multiple times, but I have ADHD. I get distracted. Um, I thought it'd be cool if we did like, actually a review slash reaction and read the comics live and we scanned them. And also the last Ronin. So that's just stuff I think would be awesome to do. I think uh, maybe we'll get Maokai in on it. But anyways, guys, before we start this episode, if you want to support us, check us out on Patreon. We have full-length uncut reactions. We also have uh, shit fuck early access ah! <laughs> for up to four <laughs> weeks. All right, let's jump in. How are you feeling on this? Evening, Master Shredder. Master Shredder. Give me the rest of the mutagen. As your doctor and chief caregiver, I refuse. You could mutate into a monster. Do it, or I will pluck off your limbs until you are nothing left but a buzzing head. <laughs> uh, you're right, sir. <laughs> mutagen it is. Really? Yeah, I don't know about that. Would you want to turn to a fucking monster? What is happening? That could be a problem. I mean, yeah, if he still has all his skills. Ocas, do not let your attention flitter away from you. And don't think all about that necklace. Thoughts are transitory, like dreams. <gasps> that is enough for today. Are you okay, Master Splinter? You seem worried about something. I'm worried about that necklace. Yeah, right? I fell into a vast pit where I fought the Shredder. My memory is hazy, but I did not survive. But it was nothing. Just a dream. Do not fret, my family. Dreams are often symbolic, not literal. I am not going anywhere. How do you know? What have you done to him, you fool? This is what I desired with this new body. Splinter and his wretched turtles won't kill him. The mutagen formula is unstable. I need to finish the dosage. No! I am better. Better than I've ever been. Fetch Bradford. It is time to bait a rat. I don't like the skeleton face. Oh, man. I remember recording this for the top five episodes of all time, according to the fan sites. Master Shredder summons you, Bradford. Bradford. It's just so weird that Bradford used to be that man. Yeah. Ninja Commander. How about I chop you down with my buzzsaw blaster? I'm going to kick your communist butt so hard, it'll fly up and land on your head like a giant butt beret. Action kick! Hiya! 
You're ruining our cartoon-a-thon! What are you... Oh, great. Now what? I bet it's Donnie messing with some kind of experiment. Come on. I would be so afraid that Donnie's doing something in there and then the whole place just blows up. Yeah, me too. There's a pretty big power outage over 10 square blocks all the way up to Shredder's old lair. Oh, Karai. Go. See if she is all right. You guys go. I will stay here. Yes, right. Shini, any word on the power outage? No, but it appears to be the entire neighborhood. Suspicious. Double the guard. You know, if you let that cave up, her ass would be just back there clapping. <laughs> Greetings, old friends. Foolish move coming in here, freaks. You got like six guys? Oh, Jesus. Kind of like this necromancer look, you know? Yeah. You've become everything you loathe, everything you hate, a mutant. I did this for you to destroy our enemy. The monster who took your mother's life, Amato Yoshi. You lied to yourself so much you come to believe an entire dream! Silence! <laughs> I was there the night he took your mother's life. Let's take this crazy Akuma down. What are you gonna do? Let's see if he retained his skills. Doesn't seem to be as fast. Man, dude. Move it, girl. <laughs> Holy cheesy balls! Is that some kind of Shredder clone monster? I think it's the Shredder himself. What do we do, Leo? We ram him, obviously. Is it that obvious? Cry's there, I mean. You just gal away. Jeez, dude. I have my daughter back. He desires to see her one last time. Come to where I last defeated him. I would puke. Yeah. What? Damn it. You gotta sell action figures. <laughs> we lost the turtle van. What happened? Uh, Shredder, he used mutagen. He has her sensei. Miwa. He said he wants to meet you in the last place that he beat you, the sewers. Then let us make haste. Let us go to the trap. Up ahead. It's not far. Stay diligent. The Shredder is clearly baiting us into a trap. I get the feeling we're being watched. Aye. They're like ninjas. Him. They wouldn't see that shit. Right. Okay. This is weird. Psycho is more like it. Gaze upon these images, rat. Take Tang Shen away from me, and then you steal my daughter. Show yourself, Saki! Might come here. This way! Hurry! That's unfortunate. This is crazy. Where do you go get a picture of her at? <laughs> You turned her against me. You brainwashed her. Karai is my daughter. How many lies can you tell yourself, Saki? Ah! Karai! Miwa! Ah! Sensei! This is where Casey got eaten by that slug. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, not Mikey. Dude, this is crazy. Saki, what have you done? I have molded myself into perfection, rat man. <laughs> you are finally a monster both inside and out. I wanted to see you fall. And she will remember that it was I who raised her. She just hates you. I sacrificed everything for her. Father is right. Your transformation into a monster is complete. Jeez, dude. I've 
always wanted to see a turtle without its shell. You want to see me naked, weirdo? <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Dude! <laughs> no ticket. Meow! <laughs> 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 Stupid cat! <laughs> Where's Casey? God. Now, where is Casey? Ooh. This is crazy, dude. Oh, that's kind of cool. Run to the back. Ah, oh, shit, that's fucking sick. God, Tom, I don't like this. You are deranged, Saki. But I can help you. We can end this fight. You'll do anything to stop this. Jeez, dude. God, Karai, you gotta try to get out of there. It is time my revenge comes to fruition. Get out of there. Well, I didn't think about that. I keep forgetting about the snake thing. Can you imagine that thing just chasing you all over the sewers? We've been here just once before. It's like during the the Rat King. I can smell you. Can you smell a rock? Come out! What is this place? The Rat King was here. It was like a something a, a just deeper underneath the sewers. I think. Jeez, dude. I like the little lightsabers they have. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of handy. Yeah, it is. She's like better than all of them with the fucking power. I've got a fix on Splinter. He's in the Undercity. That's where he fought the Rat King. Come on, I know a shortcut. Very nice. My nightmares of your proud, leering, loathsome face will finally end. <laughs> but Niwa will live on. My daughter. <laughs> What is happening to me? The mutagen. It is unstable. Out of control. Be silent, rat! You must listen, Saki. I need nothing from you! Oh, dude. will die. Then all of your loved ones. Oh no. Fucking! We die together! Father! No! He has to be alive, right? That drop is at least a thousand feet down. Even he couldn't survive a fall like that. Now I think he's alive. For Splinter. What the fuck? I don't think they're gonna kill Splinter off because A, they just had him dead for a whole <clears throat> half a season, and B, they're not gonna kill him off camera. If he dies, it ain't gonna be right then. It's gonna be later. Well, and are you gonna kill off Super Shredder that fast too? Maybe, because at this point, it's, he's become like the, he's become the monster. And you don't let a monster, I mean, there's no development anymore. There's like every logical, emotional, you know everything has been concluded for him emotionally i think except for his death like he's never going to change he's you know i don't think you can go up from here right you know but i don't i don't know i i don't i don't think splinter will die i just don't think he will i don't think he's gonna die at least this soon i mean they just fucking brought him back right what an episode man she this might be my favorite episode of this entire show yeah, I mean, I loved it. The music, um, I'd have to really think about it. I mean, the way he died the first time, though, was definitely, it stunned me. 
And then, of course, they went back in time and brought him back. And... But you also sent something like one or two episodes ago, maybe more recent than that, when you were like, something's coming. Well, yeah, the way he was talking, the way he was acting. Yeah, like, I'm not always going to be around my sons. You know, all that shit. Like, they do that to kind of... And then he does reference having this dream, yeah, right? Where he fought Shudder and lost. <clears throat> so, you know, and it's kind of like this prophecy... They're like, oh, don't worry, it's just a dream. It's like it's like Revenge of the Sith uses it as well. Um, but then that ends up being true. I just, I don't know, I just don't think... I mean, they're not going to kill him off camera. They, the episode ain't going to begin with them finding his body. I, I just won't. I just... That's one of the rules of fucking film and cinema. If you want to have an impactful death, you don't... I mean, you can cliffhanger him die, that's fine. But you can't begin with him dying in between this episode and the next one. We have to see the killing stroke. Right. Um, Crazy. Great episode, though, man. Yeah. Yeah, I, I loved it. I only took one note. It was Shinigami. I don't know why. But, um, yeah, I just I don't understand why he can't be patient to maximize. I mean, I understand why. It's because he's lost everything. He's losing every day. He's losing, like, a footing within, like, the city's power structure. Right. right. Um, he's probably very impatient. Um, he just said that. What Stockman was doing was working. He said that like an episode ago. I, well, well, it was working just too slow. Like he noticed it, but then he realized, oh, it's too. Like I need more of this, but faster. Yeah. I just feel like you listen to the guy who's bringing you back to life. You know what I mean? Right. Crazy. I just thought, this is so crazy, dude. It's just real heartbreaking, you know. Like to see. I mean, like Ninja Turtles is my first love. Um, it's probably my greatest love. I mean, Star Wars is right there. Oh, here's again. Um, I can't see Splinter living and Shredder dying. As powerful as Shredder I, is right I now. I kind of can. They fall together at the same time. Yeah, he sacrificed himself for the sons, but then... I don't, I don't know. I mean, I I don't think Shredder is just going to go back to hiding out and then come back later. Right. Ah, I agree. Like, all right, I'm back. You, but you turn my daughter against me? You know, and just keep doing that Repeat shit. it all over again, yeah. Like, there had to be... You know, there can't be a rinse and repeat of this this theme of you took Karai from me. Yeah, and then like, Shredder, like, I grow in strength. Like, I grow my army, or I, grow, I get new villains around me. I put... To, to become greater threats, and now he's done the one thing that he swore to destroy. was like he became a mutant. Right. So I feel like... Yeah. Man, what a good episode. Yeah, I know. I, I'm kind of stunned is because I'm, I don't know what to think about Splinter. And, like, I hope he didn't die. I mean, because I just don't know what that would do for the characters. Like, that'd be fucking heartbreaking. Like, well, we have to go into this last season with these guys trying to develop and grow on their own and mature. And I mean, I, that, that'd that be kind of cool. I mean, it'd be heartbreaking. I just don't want a whole season without, like, Splinter's, like, funny, witty semi-abusive humor you know yeah. <laughs> like like instruction he has on them like the, the first ninja turtles i mean there's been a there's been variations of the turtle where splinter has you know the old master gets taken or or like he becomes threatened now the old master always has always has some tricks up his sleeve but it was always such a threat like the idea of losing splinter like losing the father figure of the show like it, it's more than like the turtles i think can take right I really, really like the episode. Love now it. I'm kind of like, I'm, I feel like I'm in the middle of, like, I don't know how I feel, but, you know, we'll see what happens in the next one, I guess. Yeah. Guys, if you don't want to wait like us, um, check us out on Patreon. We have the next four on there. We also have early access. I mean, I already said that. I'm just literally kind of emotionally drained now. Uh, but anyways, we appreciate you. Guys, if you're not a patron, we'll see you next week.